In the previous video, we added a bit validation into your project. So now, for example, if the, if the user doesn't add anything into the form and click here on submit, it will add these, these warning, these messages. But for example, if the user fills the form correctly, it will be nice to display a message. One of the nicest plugins that you can use something like this is Sweet Alert. So you can click here, for example, the normal JavaScript alert you can click here, which in my opinion is really ugly. And you can click here on show success message and Sweet Alert is something like this. This is nicer. And for example, Udemy uses this same Sweet Alert plugin in their website. And you can see, for example, we have more examples. You can click here. Here on the right, you will find the code when you trigger this. An error message or something. You can see it has some nice animations. You can click here, something like this. They provide a bunch of different examples that you can use. And adding this kind of libraries is really easy in this new version of Foundation. Using Webpack, it's going to be really easy to install any library. Just make sure that the library supports Webpack. If you open the project in GitHub, clicking here in this button, and you make a search for Webpack, here on the bottom you will find the related projects. So there is a suite alert for Angular, a suite alert for Vue.js, for Polymer, and also for Webpack. Click here and you will find the, the way to install Webpack with or install Suite Alert with Webpack. I'm going to scroll to the bottom and we're looking for install. Here on the bottom, you can see that we can install this using NPM. So we're going to open the terminal and we're going to click, we're going to press Control C to stop the watch task. Then you can see that we have NPM installed Suite Alert 2 but I'm going to add npm install save dev suite alert 2. Let's wait until this finish installing. It's going to be really quick. You can see suite alert has been installed. And I added this save dev because if I open the package.json and I search for suite alert, you will find this right here. So we added suite alert in the dependencies for this project which is going to be really nice because this way, if you install this project in another computer, it will install also Suite Alert. That's something nice. Also, if you want to share this package.json with, with your teamwork, it will install Suite Alert also, and you don't have missing dependencies in your project. So let's see, for example, how you can add this Suite Alert with Webpack. You only copy this line, for example. Copy this and open the app.js right here on the SRC assets, JS, you will find this app.js and you can paste this right here. And you can add a comment, for example, right here, sweet, sweet alert, something like this. And then you can add something, for example, SWAL. SWAL is the, the function that is running right here. You can see all these examples are, are using SWAL. So we can SWAL, for, you can add the semicolon at the end. And you will find you will add high from webpack in this case we need to add foundation watch again to compile the javascript and you can see now we have high from webpack so in this version of foundation installing this kind of libraries using webpack is really easy this is going to be the way if you want to install any library that you find on the internet that supports webpack if it doesn't support webpack the way to install that library is going to be a little different, but almost all the libraries are using this method these days. So for example, let's make a test. We're gonna add something like Sway, Swal, open the parentheses, and first we're gonna add good job. Then we add a comma, we're gonna add another, you added Sweet alert. And finally, it's going to be the type of message. It's going to be success. And save this. And reload right here. Now you can see we have good job. You added sweet alert. You can click here on OK. Sweet alert is really nice. We're going to use this library 
to tell the user that the form or the reservation has been submitted successfully. So in the next video, we're going to continue working with this form.